Hello, my name is Susan Haig, and I am conductor of the South Orange Symphony Orchestra, and I'm also founder and trustee of Civic Story, which is a nonprofit news site. The key elements of a conductor's role is to inspire people with all different specialized skills, different instruments to work together. So I have a score here that shows all the different lines, the woodwinds up here, the brass and the strings. This is Elgar's Enigma Variations. Um, and so you have to have a, an appreciation of what each person does and then an ability to quickly align them so that there's a unified vision. You also have to have a basic um, understanding of physical motion. I enjoyed dance, I enjoyed sports, and there has to be a, a coordination and then an ability to uh, bring bring the group together quickly. The same thing happens in, in journalism. Really, you're drawing out um, stories and asking people what they care about and, and um, getting them to be curious. And especially now, I think there's a way for all of us to work together solving um, the most complex problems. So we want to all contribute to a sustainable world. We need to all heal the environment. So that um, ability to bring everybody's gifts together um, and help them work together is part of both of these um, jobs. Well, my career journey has been in really three parts. I started out um, coaching opera because I had a master's degree in piano and I had said to people, what's the route to conducting? They said, become an opera coach. So for seven years, I was coaching opera and assistant conducting, backstage conducting, and I kept saying, I'd love to conduct too in the orchestra pit. Um, and that finally happened um, in Calgary, Alberta. And so I went out to Calgary to be uh, associate conductor of the Calgary Philharmonic. So that was my breakthrough into actual conducting. And I then conducted orchestras for 19 years. And then I added something, I pivoted in a way to doing nonprofit journalism, to doing short form videos, because I, I missed something on the news every day. I thought there should be stories about arts education and kids' lives being changed. I know how those stories could be, but I'm not technically um, uh, a filmmaker. And so I worked with um, editors and we came up with something new that was informed by my expertise as a conductor. I began to realize that I was interested in conducting in college because when I saw another young person conduct, I thought, oh, I would love to do that. And I remember speaking to somebody who said, this is an older gentleman who said, well, I have to tell you, you don't look like a conductor. So when that kind of thing happens, just uh, make light of it, just smile, just laugh internally and uh, say, but I wanna pursue this, I'm gonna try it. One of my teachers, conducting teachers said, be enthusiastic, be prepared, and be grateful and thank you. And if we combine those three things, it's something that empowers others and is great for teamwork. When you're pursuing conducting, you will get a lot of closed doors. It's a competitive field. And what's great is to use those as a learning experience. Don't think of them as failures. They're all opportunities to find out something new. So if you keep um, just an excited and curious approach and say, okay, that didn't work, something else will work. That's the way to go. And then doors do open up. I would advise young girls to try everything. Find out what you're interested in. Find out what you love. You have to try it, even if you know nothing about it. And it's that openness to learning, asking lots of questions. People are always grateful to give help. And it's, um, it's a compliment to ask somebody for advice. So calling people up and saying, can I meet with you? Can I learn about what you do? They will always give you um, good tips on what to try next. <music>